Hi there and welcome. My name is John Crow. Welcome to Pro Chef Academy. So today I hope you really enjoyed the video that I've made for you. Um, it's another technique, another skill that I'd like you to master. Please join me on the journey and we can grow together, grow this community. Like I said, place a comment, hit that subscribe button, share the content and we'll see you very soon. Enjoy the video. Okay, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to do something very simple. You can see I have a cast iron pan. I've had it for many years as one of number. And what I would do periodically is I would reseal these, okay? So obviously I have washed and I have dried this already, okay? Just with some soapy water. Uh, I've got my towel and paper and dried it all off so it's nice and dry. What we need to do then is we need two products here in order to seal these pans. So like I said, it's a cast iron pan. We're all now uh, you generally using uh, like a non-stick pan which has a Teflon coating on it. And obviously over time that will get scratched and worn and won't be of any use. So you will need to probably discard it and buy a new pan. This, like I said, cast iron pan, really, really heavy. I've had this for many years. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process that I would do. And I would do this periodically, say every three months here, just to keep a nice seal so that it makes it non-stick and items don't stick to it. So what you do first is... We just get some salt, so I just some plain table salt here. And we put a good coating of salt on the item, like that. Okay, so what we do then is I put on my gas and I make sure that that's even and that it's spread out all over the base of the pan. You can see there, I have two containers then just to one side there and I keep them because they're gonna be used as part of the process. So what I will do is I will uh, heat my um, pan up with the salt on it until it starts to smoke, okay? What I will do then is I will remove the salt, put it into my dish, and then I will put some oil in it, okay? I will brush out the pan, wipe out the pan, clean it if it needs it, and then I will put in my oil. I will then get my oil to smoke, and then what I will do is, if there's any excess oil, I will pour that out, I will dry my pan, and then I will repeat the process with the salt. So as you can see there, I'm heating up the oil now, or sorry, heating up the salt. I'm gonna get that so it's really, really hot, and then I'm gonna remove it and put it into my dish, and then I'm going to give it a brush out, and then I'm going to add my oil. So that's just stage one there. Okay, so I've heated up my oil. I'm now going to remove my oil. I've, like I said, I put it on my pan. I've given it really, really hot. I'm now going to take my salt and then I'm going to just pass it into the dish here. And then you can see we have some residue and we just want to get all that off. And that will go in. There is that. That will just take a second. So as you can see there, I've removed the salt. I've uh, cleaned out any excess salt and I've just added my oil to the pan. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, just a thin layer of oil. I'm going to heat that up till we get some smoke rising from the pan. I'm then going to pour this into my second dish on the side. I'm going to dry out the pan and then I'm going to put my salt back in. So I'm going to repeat that process about four or five times there, alternating between the salt and the oil there so that we get a nice building of layers there. Uh, creating a seal, like I said, which is going to make this cast iron pan uh, non-stick. What I will do then is normally when I use this then, unless it's really, really dirty, I really won't wash it. I will just wipe it dry and put it away so it keeps the seal on it. Obviously, if you keep washing the pan, you're going to remove the seal with the hot water and then your, um, your uh, liquid soap or your fairy liquid or washing up liquid or whatever you're going to use, you're going to remove that seal from it. So unless the pan gets really, really dirty, I don't want to wash it. And then I will repeat this then every three months. Okay, so we'll just let this heat up. You can see the way it'll smoke. We'll remove that. I'll give a wipe, one wipe out to uh, dry it off. And then I'll show you the salt again. And then, like I said, you would keep building up the layers. Okay, so it might be a little bit hard to see on the camera there, but I have a blue haze rising from my oil. My oil is nice and hot. What we want to do now is we just want to pour off that oil like that into my dish. It's easy if you have two dishes there at the side there, just to alternate back. I'll just turn down my gas there for a second. And then we get, and we just want to get your cloth and then just dry it off, turn it over. There like that. Okay, be careful, because obviously this pan is going to be quite hot. There we go, and I just add my salt back in, 
and we just spread that out on the base of your pan. Get a nice covering. If you need to add a little bit of salt, you can. And we will just repeat that. So I'll burn the salt again. I'll remove it, put it into my dish, wipe it dry, and then I will put the oil back in. So like I said, I'll do that about four or five times and that will create a great seal on my pan. And it's something that's going to keep your cast iron pan perfect uh, for, for cooking and for uh, nothing will stick to it uh, if you're doing fish, no matter what you're doing. So that's just a really simple tip. I uh, hope you enjoyed it here today. As always, please uh, like, subscribe and share to the channel. I'm always adding new content. Uh, I'm always looking for new subscribers. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, like I said. Please subscribe to the channel. You're supporting me. You're supporting the development of the channel. And we're trying to reach a wider audience. So it's always helpful um, if we get that thumbs up, if we get that like. And if I need questions, I'm always happy to answer questions. So please post them as well. So until we see you again, it's uh, thank you here from Pro Chef Academy and myself, John Crow, And we'll see you very soon again. Have a good day. Thank you very much.